Hey guys, welcome back to the Dental Duo. My name is Nico. And my name is Kathleen. In today's video, we're going over our favorite apps as D1 dental students. And before we start, we just wanted to mention we're not sponsored or getting paid by any of the apps we mentioned. These are just apps that we use almost on a day-to-day -day basis and apps that we find very helpful. So with that said, let's get right into it. So the first app that we're gonna talk about is Bone Box Dental. So I use this app a lot to study for dental anatomy because it provides a 3D model of the whole mouth and you could click on an individual tooth for example let's say i want to look at tooth number nine i could turn it around flip it around and see all of the anatomy on the teeth i could also make annotations on the teeth like if i want to highlight these linear depressions i could do that i could also go back and go to this little tab here and let's say i would just want to isolate the molars it will do that for me so I can see where they are. If I want more specific things such as the occlusal embrasures, it'll highlight them for me here. The facial embrasures it'll highlight. And there's just a ton of different things that this app shows in terms of dental anatomy. So there's this really nice quiz feature which you could use to test yourself on the teeth. So it basically just gives you a tooth and you would select what you think the answer is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple app. It's great to use during your D1 year, especially when you're taking courses about the teeth and learning the anatomy and all of the functions of each tooth. Okay, so the next app is one of my favorite apps. It's called Complete Anatomy. This app is $35.99, but thankfully, since Nico goes to Penn Dental, they provide him this app for free. And since I'm his girlfriend, he shares the app with me and it's really helpful. So I primarily use this app to study for gross anatomy, which is one of the most intimidating courses you'll probably take during your D1 year. So I definitely do recommend getting this app. So let's start here by clicking on models. So with this skeleton, there's this tab on the bottom where you could start adding muscle layers, arterial layers, venous layers, all sorts of layers. You can add the respiratory system, digestive system. Yeah, you basically just build the skeleton up into an actual human body. You could click on any muscle of the body. So let's say we wanna look at the intercostal muscles. You would click on it and the app will give you a ton of information on it just like you could see the origins and insertions the arteries that go to the muscles and all sorts of information you could even isolate it if you want to see a better view of it you could fade all the anatomical features around it to see it in a better view during times when i couldn't go into cadaver lab i'd just go on this app and try to recall as much as i could so i was working mostly on the thoracic cavity on my last cadaver lab exam so i would just just test myself and click this muscle right here and I would seize the sternal thyroid. So far it's been a super helpful app. There's also this search feature up here where you could search any part of the body that you want to find out more info. So let's say I want to see the mandible. I would click mandible. Now it's all highlighted. Again, I could isolate it to get a better view of it, or I could fade all the objects around it so I could see it anatomically. There's a ton of video options as well, so if you need somebody to explain it to you, that's a great thing as well. I do definitely recommend this app. It's been very helpful and very detailed. Any sort of small artery or vein you can think of, this app has it. And it's definitely nice to have everything in one place as opposed to flipping through all your notes, looking for different structures. The next app I'm gonna talk about is Notability. I absolutely love this. This app and I recommend that every dental student gets it. Most dental students, regardless of what school you go to, will have an iPad as well as an Apple Pencil and this is the absolute best way to take notes in my opinion. This app is called Notability but there are other apps such as OneNote and GoodNote. I do highly recommend Notability for a lot of reasons that I'll get into. This app is $15 for a yearly subscription which isn't bad at all considering I use it every day. I really like how you could create subjects and dividers. So in here I have all of my fall classes that I took during my fall year and if I click on a divider you could see that I have all my notes separated by exams which makes things extremely organized. Currently right now these are my spring classes so let's say I want to open gross anatomy for example and go to my exam one tab. I'll see all of the lectures that were on my first exam. Like multiple note taking apps, Notability has multiple different ink colors different sizes for the ink. There's also a text feature if you'd like to type instead. I also really like this insert photos feature as it makes it really easy for me to just put any photos I find relevant from the internet. 
This laser feature is also really cool in case you're studying with like a friend over Zoom and you want to point something out to them, you could just use the laser pointer for that. One of the best features of Notability that distinguishes it from other apps is that there's this record feature. So if I click this play button, you could hear my professor talk. And exactly where I wrote with my Apple Pencil, I could click it and the exact thing that the professor was saying at that time will be read back to me when I press play. I like to put these arrows at the beginning of every slide. So in case I want to just hear the professor read the whole slide to me, I could just click the arrow and he'll start right there, right when he started the slide. Notability is super easy to use. I just download the professor's PowerPoint as a PDF and I input it into Notability. I just take notes in class and it's super efficient. I definitely recommend this app to everybody. Even if you don't end up going with Notability, just make sure that you're being efficient with your note taking and try to write on the PowerPoints that are given to you so that you're not writing repetitive information when taking your notes. So the last app Kathleen and I wanted to talk about was Indirect App. This app, as it states, tests our indirect vision and there's three modes, mazes, dots, and tubes. My personal favorite is dots. And what I like to do is hold my Apple Pencil or a stylus like if it was a handpiece. So like this and basically on dots, you go around going through the triangle using indirect vision. And as you get through the levels, the triangle starts spinning. It's a fun app to practice indirect vision. Some of the other game modes include tubes, which is kind of like a flappy bird. You go around as a helicopter and the clouds represent your patient breathing on your mirror. The last game mode mazes, you have multiple levels. And let's say we click level 13, you basically have to use indirect vision and go around the maze without running out of time. And the app is only a dollar in the app store. So considering you're practicing indirect vision, having fun, it's pretty worth it in my opinion. It's a fun app to use. We definitely recommend you guys try it out and that's a wrap on our favorite dental school apps if you guys have any apps that we didn't mention that you guys use on your dental school journeys drop it down in the comments below and let us know and as we mentioned we're d1 dental students so make sure to subscribe to us on youtube and follow us on instagram at the dent duo to stay tuned for more dental school content